but that is all over his bike, trying to squeeze as much energy as he can. He's back in the saddle again, as soon as no doubt be out again, but it's out. But look at Chris Froome, completely different. That very distinctive style, remarkably efficient, and it looks Carlton as if the gap is actually opening slightly. Not quite as steep here, but the road does kick up again, an absolutely brutal finale to an absolutely stupendous stage. I believe we've got about 400 metres to go, uh, so apologies if we trusted the graphic, but hey, what else were we supposed to do? Right now, you can trust that Alberto Contador is in full battle mode. Um, we've been talking about how relaxed he is, anything but right now, and it's been imposed upon him by Chris Froome. All that hurt, and it's going to be like this. They go toe to toe like prize fighters. There are other players in this game, of course, but look at the gap. The virtual lead, 29 seconds. Well, we'll see. He, at the moment, is in charge. 27 was the cushion that Contador came at the day. Right now, he's going to see the lead by two seconds. Can he find something? Can Froome wrestle control of this race at the very last almost? Absolutely amazing scenes. What a race. What a treat for you at home to see this unfolding. It is like a, a mini Grand Tour unfolding. 500 metres to go for Alberto Contador. I reckon that Chris Froome's about 300 metres to go. Has he got enough? Let's see. The line doth beckon. It's a, a dirt road to finish but royalty I think you might say is crossing it over they may as well roll out a red carpet he's in the hoardings right now which means that he has the line ahead of him 200 metres, there's only what 300 metres or so, 250 separating them, Contador's battling back there's the clock, this is going to be oh so important, it's a matter of two seconds to the good as far as Froome is concerned at the moment, he will lead by that margin, unless Contador can find something and he does, he's digging right now but look at the cadence, little bit of a rest for Contador he free wheels momentarily. A dirt road beckons here for uh, Chris Froome. The gap is there. They've hoarded the crowds. He'll have a clear run at least. 100 metres. Oh, that was a, such a painful 80 metres that we just saw right now. Such are the speeds that he's got. Now we wait for the line. It's going to be oh so crucial. It may be a huge battle teed up for tomorrow with some gaps potentially that might open up. But Chris Froome has done a majestic thing right now. It said 54 seconds on that clock right now as it clicks away and we've got it they stop the clock rather conveniently for us at least we have that as a small mercy and we count back, Contador count him in, don't forget the magic moment is 27 seconds is he going to get there? 17 seconds, he's got 10 seconds now to save his lead on this race he's a big fighter, we know that and he's got to dig very deep and he's going to do it I think, by just the narrowest of margin, oh my goodness he loses the lead by a solitary second to Chris Froome, oh what fun we've had here the most dramatic mountain of this year so far and plenty more to come well there'll be official count back don't forget and we may have a heartbroken one by the time that they get with the official result but by our reckoning Froome now leads wow <sighs> What an amazing stage. Absolutely fascinating. Looks like Mikel Nieve. Nieve took third place for Team Sky, but devastating stuff. Teed up perfectly by Team Sky, but then basically Chris Froome put Alberto Contador.